Hey everyone, TechnoMinger here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone or iPad that says cannot connect to the App Store. You want to follow these steps to fix it. Now, generally, when you're seeing this message pop up on the App Store, it means that there is an issue with either the internet connection or Apple server, and I'm going to show you how to fix either or. So first thing is, if you're seeing this, just pull down the control menu or pull it up and put your phone on airplane mode briefly, about 10, 15 seconds and then turn it off and does a quick network refresh and then go ahead and give it a try. Now, if that didn't work for you, the next thing you wanna check out is in your settings here, you're gonna to go to general and then go to date and time and make sure that the date and the time you're seeing is the correct for your area. Now, if it's not correct, you need to adjust that. You can turn off automatically and manually select your uh, zone time zone here or search it up and then manually set the date and time as well But ideally you should be automatically picked up if you are connected to the internet So make sure that is correct as well now one other thing you want to troubleshoot is that if you have any sort of BPN turned on you need to turn it off so in your settings go to general and then we're gonna go to basically device management and if it's a BPN on just temporarily turn off the BPN and then go ahead and try something the BPN can block it as well. Now if you have tried the BPN, it's not working. The next thing to do is tap on your Apple ID. You're going to sign out and then sign back in. Once you sign out, you're going to go back here. It's going to say sign back in and then go ahead and sign back in just to make sure your Apple ID is good as well. Now let's say you did this and it's still not working. The next thing that you want to go ahead and check out is that make sure the Apple servers are not having issues. So on any browser, just search up Apple system status that basically takes you to Apple uh, system support status page which will tell you basically if everything is working correctly but the base thing that we want to check out is to make sure that App Store it says available let's say it says unavailable it might be an issue with their server and you might have to wait sometimes a few minutes sometimes a few hours or even a day generally Apple will automatically go ahead and fix those whenever they see an issue with one of their services and that may be the reason why you're not able to access the app store itself now after you have done that let's say it's still not working you're not gonna go ahead and follow the step here you're gonna go ahead and open up the app store and then simply swipe up to close it and then quickly press and release the volume up volume down one after another and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black the Apple logo appears. So I'm going to quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then hold on to the side button just like that. And you're going to keep on holding until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears on your screen. So here, as you can see here, I'm waiting here for the Apple logo to appear and then I let go. And if it doesn't work the very first time, keep on trying. All you're doing is quickly pressing and releasing volume up, volume down before or holding down the side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. Again, it takes a few tries sometimes to get the hang of it. And this method is safe. It will not delete any of your data on your phone. And let's say you did this and still not working. The next thing to do is go into your settings, go to general, and then scroll all the way down to transfer reset iPhone. Tap on that and then click on reset. And then we're gonna wanna do a network reset and put in your phone's passcode a network reset basically resets the network settings. So if you're having any internet connectivity issue on the phone, it'll go ahead and fix that as well. Now, after you have done that, the next thing to do is checking to see if there's updates so in your settings. You're gonna go to general, software update, and go ahead and update your iPhone or your iPad, whatever it is, to the latest version, just to ensure that there isn't an issue with the version that you're running. And after all this, hopefully your App Store is working. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and iPad. We'll see you guys next time.